Well, the most unfortunate thing <laughs> was just discovered. My my entire clip of the first half of my grocery haul video for you guys, the great big once a month April grocery haul is gone. I transferred all of the video over and MVI underscore 5853 is there <laughs> and MVI underscore 5855 is there, but there is no 54. And that would be the first entire half of the grocery haul. So I hope that you guys, uh, you know, stay with me here and watch the, the second half of the grocery haul. The first half would have had all of the things in there. I showed all of the meats, um, all of my canned goods, all of the cheeses, the milk, the butter, the bread. What else would be over there? The pizzas, cereal, graham crackers, <laughs> all those types of things. Uh, I also did discuss in that clip a little bit more about my uh, meal plan. And so what I will do is um, be sure that you sign up for the email because that's where I will have the link and there will be like a link there where you'll be able to get my full month meal plan. So I typed it all out on a calendar like I like to do and I will have that available for you guys because I know a lot of you really like when I uh, kind of talk about my meal plan as along with the different foods that I purchase and kind of how it's all going to go together for the month. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> and next month, hopefully, we'll be back at it in just the regular way. The first thing that I do when getting ready for a big once a month grocery shop is clean out the refrigerator. I go through the refrigerator. I just take out not everything, but a good portion of the things that are on the shelves just to give me enough space to be able to be able to wash off the shelves and uh, you know, just kind of get some of those old crumbs and drips up. I also, if I have any like fruit that needs to go in the fruit bowl that we haven't, you know, eaten yet this month, then I put that in there real quick. And as you can see, I do have some bananas that I'm going to have to make into banana bread. I'm not sure what's going on, but Joe has just not been eating the bananas like he used to. All right, so then it's time to get everything put back into the fridge. And I just try to organize it loosely when I say that. I don't have a specific spot, but I did this time try to put all of kind of like the condiment bottles and just extra sauces and things like that on the top shelf. And then the middle shelf, I earmarked for just some of the leftovers that we have from the last couple of days. And then the bottom shelf, we always keep the eggs in the same spot. And then that's just going to be a good spot to put some of the uh, new groceries that I pick up this time. The vegetable and fruit drawer, you can see, are pretty much empty except for some leftover carrots that I still have. I also sit down and just plan out my menu. I always print off my monthly meal plan calendar and put it on the inside of my cabinet. And then as I make the meals through the month, I just cross off what we make. We do have a number of meals that we didn't make. You can see all the circles there. For some reason, we did not do any of the burgers. So you can bet I'm going to just transfer that. Actually, I'll transfer all these meals right on to my next plan. So for this April once a month grocery shopping, I actually am starting off the month with Holy Week. And then we start right away with Easter, both um, Holy Saturday and Easter Sunday. Both have some like just kind of special foods that we serve at that time and then I also needed to make a plan for the rest of the month as well so I just kind of look through some of my cookbooks my binders um, I asked Warren a couple things that he wanted of course he said he wanted chili <laughs> he's, he's like that's that's it that's all I got chili so what I do is just as I am writing out the meal that we're going to have I just write all the ingredients on my um, grocery list as I go through. I don't keep my grocery list in any special order. I just get the stuff on there. When I'm at the store, I can easily look through my list and, you know, find all the things that I need. I did pick up this Holy Week and Easter cookbook. This is from Catholic Icing. Uh, I, I do have to say that I don't think any of the recipes in here are anything kind of out of the ordinary that I haven't already at some point in the game made, but it was kind of nice just to have it all in one place here. And there's a lot of printables in here as well if you want to do like symbolic, symbolic ho Holy Thursday or Good Friday luncheons, things like that. There's just a lot of really neat, neat ideas in here and it's just all in one location. And sometimes that's really all it takes is to just kind of have everything in one location. And then it helps us to, um, you know, 
plan out some of those special plan in some of the special feast days and things like that. I've had a lot of questions um, from people, maybe not a lot, but I did notice in the comments a couple questions from people wondering how I store my produce um, like for the whole month. And let me just tell you, uh, they had the person who had made that comment had suggested that maybe I do a whole video on it. I'm not sure if I have enough information for that, but I will tell you that what I, <laughs> Joe is looking at me through binoculars. Hi, Joe. I will tell you that this, when it comes to fruit, fruit, um, there's, there's basically two types of fruit. There's the fruit that lasts for a long time, and then there's the very perishable fruit. The perishable fruit would be things like berries, bananas. Thank you, Maria. She's so smart. Um, those would be more perishable. And then there are the less perishable things, such as grapefruit, apples, oranges, limes, uh, I would say cantaloupe is right in the middle. Pears, where are those? Oh, I have some Granny Smith apples here as well. I do have a bag of pears somewhere. There they are. Underneath the oranges. So pears are kind of in the middle, I would say. Uh, and so the I didn't really get any of the super perishable, perishable fruits today. Um, but if I did, I would earmark those fruits as getting eaten first. And then all of these things I would keep in the refrigerator and bring them out maybe about a week when all of those perishable fruits are all used up. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys a little bit. So when it comes to vegetables, there are the very perishable vegetables and then the ones that last a little bit longer, like celery. As long as you keep this in the crisper in, the, in your refrigerator, it's gonna last a long, long time. Now, if you have things on your menu where you wanna have fresh celery, you would want those to be scheduled for earlier in the month. If you have things like soup or, um, you know, some sort of like crock pot recipe or something, those could be for later in the month because a celery that's a little soft is absolutely fine in soup because you're already, you're cooking it down or like in barbecue or something like that. Okay. And then we have, um, other things that would be perishable would be the lettuces. I do have a hard time. Joe, are you mumbling next to me? No. Yes, you are. You no. need to stop the mumbling in here, okay? Seriously. Sorry. I've been having a, a just a bad time with lettuce lately. I ended up throwing out some lettuce this morning to the chickens because it just got brown so fast. So I'm doing this again this month with these salad kits. I got three of them. And what we will do is... We'll probably have one of these for supper tonight, and then whatever's, if there's any left, it'll come out, and I will eat that up for lunch tomorrow, and we will just make a point that this will be our vegetable for the week right here, these salads. And then the vegetables that last longer, like Brussels sprouts, potatoes, I have red potatoes over here. I also did get 20 pounds of russets, the cauliflower, all of those vegetables, um, you know, they last longer. So you can get those now and earmark them for it later in the month. Maybe not the very last week of the month, but for sure the third week of the month. Cucumbers, those will get sliced up. Uh, if I do get kitchen time tomorrow, I'll probably slice up the, um, the cucumbers and get those into a container for us to just snack on over the next couple of days. I'll, I like to do that with green peppers as well. And then with like the baby peppers, I like to do that too, is just keep them on hand. I did also underneath here, the Brussels sprouts were at $1.99, which I thought was a fabulous price this time. I did get some coleslaw here. This I had to pick up at um, Walmart. I have a little bit of coleslaw dressing in the fridge that I would like to get that bottle used up and just get it out of the refrigerator. So we are going to have coleslaw this week. Not sure if the coleslaw is going to make it until Easter or not. Um, we'll see. And then I did get corn on the cob this way, which is crazy mm -hmm. expensive. But you know what? I really, really wanted to make that dinner and uh, that sheep pan dinner, and you need corn for that. Or at least the corn is really good on it. I did pick up a couple of frozen things here. 
So another thing that you can always do for, you know, produce is just getting frozen vegetables or canned vegetables for later in the month. So earmarking the fresh stuff for the beginning and then the frozen for later. I do have a, a few recipes that I want to do corn for, and so I do to get four bags of frozen corn. I really, really would like to get to a point this year where I'm freezing my own corn again. I did get some of these breakfast hash browns because everybody in the house likes those. And then also some tater tots. This is going to be earmarked for when I make a breakfast hash. I do have just some pantry things here. Two boxes of macaroni and cheese. We don't eat a lot of that, but it is nice to have a couple around. A great big thing of ranch because, again, you know, my kids could drink that. And then some whipped cream. And then look at this. Six of them. <laughs> whipped toppings. This is just for different fluff salads that I want to make and a couple different desserts like that peach cake and stuff like that. So I just wanted to pick that up and get it in the fridge or in the freezer. Some chili sauce. This is used when I make um, barbecued pork ribs. I didn't buy the pork ribs today. Do you want that box of graham crackers? You can have it. You can take it, honey. <laughs> and so... Uh, but I saw this and I just wanted to get it so I had it on hand for when I do make the ribs. Some breadcrumbs because I'd like to make Salisbury steak this month and I need breadcrumbs for that. And then a couple of these onion soup mix packets because I just like to keep that on hand. These are going to be the french fried onions for making western burgers. We actually almost ate up the french fried onions this last month, like just snitching them. <laughs> I did pick up some of these raisins. This was not the, the least expensive way to buy raisins, but oh. I don't have a lot of raisin lovers in the house really at all, but I do want to make some hot cross buns this week, and I wanted to have some raisins to put in there. Some allspice I needed for something, I think probably the hot cross buns. I used up my, my chopped um, pecans, so I picked up another bag of those. These are crazy expensive. I should look around and see what I can do in, um, like maybe buying them more in bulk. I know that there's some different options. Amazon sells them in bigger packages, as does Nuts.com, so maybe I could find a better price on pecans. Some jasmine rice. I've never bought this, but I had wanted to try it, and wow, this is expensive. This is, what is this, a five-pound bag, and it's over $4. I want to say it's like basically $5. I was surprised. But I did want to try it, and I did have money in the budget this time for that. Um, some strawberry jello. And then this was a fabulous deal. So today at Aldi, they had all of the regular yeah, the regular size chocolate chips marked at $1.25 a package, which normally they are $1.69. All of the other ones were still $1.69. The mint, don't put your fingers in here right now. The mini chips and things like that. Um, so I got 10 packages just so that I would have them on hand. This is not something that we will just go and eat because we what? have them. That's just not something that my kids have ever done is just go what? open up the even package of chocolate chips. Bigger. So I'm safe in getting these. I could even pop them in the freezer as well. Some ketchup, barbecue sauce, Ooh. crunchy peanut butter, creamy oh, yeah. peanut butter. You like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then eight pounds of sugar for the month. I mean, this yeah. is, a, we're not going to go through all of it, but I wanted to have that. Oh, my goodness. Look at the rest of this. Eight, 10, 12, 14 pounds of sugar. That sounds horrible. Uh, and then some powdered sugar, a couple bags of light brown sugar, and then some crackers. You guys all know that Warren loves these pita crackers, and so I got a box of those. I thought I would try these. I actually think that they just, like, rebranded or re repackaged these or something you know came up with like a newer package because i really like the box and i thought you know what i'm gonna buy those and then some of these white cheddar crackers some vanilla wafers one box of chewy chocolate chip granola bars one box of the crunchy oats and honey and then some roasted salted almonds snickers here for the snicker salad that i'm gonna make on either either next saturday or sunday and then Sam has just been asking for juice a lot lately. And so I did get some juice, two things of the 100% apple juice, two of these 
orange juices. These were also a great price today at Aldi. It's 52 ounces. I think it was $1.69 or $1.79, and it's 52 ounces. And then I did pick up a 100% juice cranberry and a crayon cocktail at, at Aldi as well. And then two creamers, coconut cream. That is my absolute favorite creamer of all time. And then, just to be different, I also got a French vanilla. Every time I pick up French vanilla, I always say to myself, do I actually like this? Or am I just going to wish every time I put that in my coffee that it was coconut? But I went with it. I did pick up another one of these things of lemon juice. I seem to use a lot of that. And Sam also does like to make um, lemonade, and so he will use that for making lemonade. Two of these frozen orange juices. So here's another thing. So these two bottled orange juices that are going to go in the fridge, they're going to be seen. You know, anyone who opens up the fridge, either in the house or in the garage, they're going to see these. So these are going to get um, drank up sooner. And these are going to be up in the freezer. They'll have to thaw them. They'll actually have to open them and mix them up. And so these will be around near the end of the month still. I did pick up a half gallon of whole milk because I do have some different rolls and things like that I'm going to make this week. And it takes whole milk. They only had the smaller containers of black silk at Walmart today, so I got three of them. Normally I would get two of the bigger ones, but went with three. And then I did get some orange smiles here, or whatever these are called, fruit smiles. These are the Walmart fruit snacks, which my family does claim to be the best fruit snacks out there. Um, and I joked with them, because today I was like, oh my gosh, I got a box that was already open from the grocery store. <laughs> they all looked at me. <gasps> she caught us <laughs> so okay i did get some chips this would be the type of thing that i would not buy a month's worth of chips so i'm pretty certain next week next weekend when we have our family around most of these are all going to be eaten up um, these pretzels i'm going to open for when we make our crown of thorns this week and then the kids can just snack on those pretzels whenever you know not like whenever they want but basically whenever they want throughout the week um, and then these we will are earmarked for next weekend if we don't use them all that's great they'll just go into the rotation for the next week of um, lunches and things like that so i did also pick up some of these flavored waters this is the Nestle Splash Lemon, and then they had the Mandarin Orange, and then this is the Wild Berry, so I picked those up for next weekend. Everyone loves Wild Berry. Everybody loves the Wild Berry? Well, that's good. I got them. And then some Kiwi Strawberry and Fruit Punch Juice Pouches, and then I do have a thing of Gatorade. Gatorade! What's your favorite color Gatorade, Joe? Green. No, I don't have the green Gatorade. Look it over here. I have berry and strawberry and grape what do you guys like Fair um blue you like the blue one yeah that is what flavor is that maria berry uh yeah and which one is your favorite maria mm, grape. the grape yeah i would probably go with the grape too that would be my favorite <laughs> And then I did pick up a few non-food items today as well. I thought that these little bit larger sized paper plates would be nice for next weekend. And then the, these um, garbage bags. I am actually very pleased with these. I've bought a lot of different brands of garbage bags over the past year because, well, basically for the last year, we've kind of had to just take what we can get sometimes in certain departments of the grocery store. So I've bought a number of different brands and I just come back to these. I, I do wish that they were the ones that had the pull string, but I'm, I'm over it. And uh, I just really like these. I feel like they actually hold and they don't like stretch and tear as you're trying to pull it out of the garbage can. Because we do like to stuff it, you know, until it like nearly pops before we take it out. Uh, some allergy relief medication. And then some napkins so these are just a little bit fancier napkin for easter sunday um, yeah that's it and that is it <laughs> that is a whole lot of groceries i have not totally added up the entire thing i do know that i spent about 380 dollars today at aldi i do know that in groceries at walmart i spent I want to say another 150 I think it was. So a whole lot of 
um, groceries this time around and this stuff is going to last a long time i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that uh if you and if you like it that you would subscribe but even more than that if you like my content share it on your other social media sites and then hi joe <laughs> you say hi to everybody too Say hi. Talk today. Hello there. Hello there. And I will put up a couple videos here if you want to watch more grocery hauls. You guys have a fabulous day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.